Get over here! Okay, here he comes! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that thing looked high! Look at his face! He was stoned out of his mind! He didn't know what was happening! Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are hopping into a rather unorthodox game on the Virtual Boy. This is a system that you may have heard of. It is one of Nintendo's lost systems, in fact. It was a system that was released by Nintendo and that was so utterly bad. It literally... it failed. I mean, there's, there's no nice way to say it. The Virtual Boy failed, which is a shame, actually, because... Honestly, I tried the Virtual Boy once when I was a kid, and I kind of liked it. I know the... Okay, so first of all, the colors are horrible. And if you play this game for a long period of time, it did give people headaches and stuff like that. And the Virtual Boy had some some issues. But uh, I, I kind of liked it when I played it, and I'm excited today to play Warrior Land, because though I've never played this version of it, I had played the Game Boy version, so we get the computer showing us kind of what's going on. Uh, well, I give my opening spiel here. So we're gonna be playing as Wario. Uh, interestingly, this is kind of a sequel to Wario Land colon Super Mario Brothers 3 on the Game Boy, which is the one I know. Uh, funny thing about that is that is the third Mario game on the Game Boy, and it's not even a Mario game. It's like Mario lost his series to Wario, which is kind of funny in like the meta history between Mario and Wario, because they're kind of rivals, like Wario stole the the franchise platformer series from Mario. I don't know. But this is kind of a sequel. It's kind of a sequel in quotes because nothing on the Virtual Boy was really all that successful. Let's go ahead and start here. And so I'm not even quite sure how much the Virtual Boy factors into the canon of Nintendo. So this is almost like a kind of what if game because I don't even know if any of this, uh, any anything that happened to Wario in this game is even sort of adhered to in the larger Nintendo narrative these days. I think they kind of like to forget the Virtual Boy exists, although they do talk about it. Like when the 3DS was coming out, Miyamoto gave an interview and he talked about the 3D of the 3DS compared to the Virtual Boy and so on. But anyway, um, the game is getting started here. Wario is sleeping by a river and something spat on him. Uh, or something like that. I don't quite know. Wario's kind of, he's a short fuse kind of guy. He goes on little tantrums and so on, so he's clearly going to get mad and rob whoever is around him of all the gold he can get his hands on. Because that's Wario's style. He's hes straight up, he's like the Hamburglar, if the Hamburglar had like real anger issues and he like physically assaulted people. Now, uh, a few few other housekeeping things before we actually get into this game. I have no idea what these things are, by the way. They're like little spiky things stealing treasure chests, which makes about as much sense as anything. Oh, God. I mean, the color scheme in this... We can't play Virtual Boy without talking about the color scheme, but it is rough, guys, so... Um, it's not as bad, though, as using the headset. I'm going to release a Virtual... Oh, I just straight up killed those guys. He's like, out of my way, I'm going in, and I'm going to take all your glorious treasures. Um, I guess these are the, the treasures that we have to find. Uh, so we fall into a pit, so I, I guess we have to recover those treasures and come back to the door. Now, I will be releasing a version of this video that has the dual screens, and I'm going to be doing that. It'll literally be this exact same video with the exact same commentary, but if you're watching this right now and you think, oh man, I kind of wish I could be viewing it in like one of those Google Cardboard headsets or something like that so I could get the full 3D effect, fear not, my friend, I have your back. You can go ahead and look at my channel right now, and the dual screen version may be up, so if you want to slap on a Google Cardboard headset, you can watch this in its glorious red and black 3D. So as you can see, kind of like Mario already, um, except Mario didn't have these weird toads. Oh man, that toad just attacked me, so that was self-defense what I just did there to it. Anyway, kind of, you know, there's blocks and stuff. Wario's big thing is he can, like, charge, and he can also just sort of flex. You know, if he wants to, like, show off his sweet muscles to, like, any any chicks that may be watching, Wario can do that, because cause Wario's, he's like a, he's kind of like the D-bag of Nintendo characters. I was going to say he's a man's man, but he's not. A man's man implies that he's, like, also kind of popular, or at least not despised, but people despise Wario. And uh, you can also, like, land on your belly, because that's a thing. You can crawl around like a dog, because uh, that's also a thing. <laughs> Now, I keep getting distracted here. One more announcement I wanted to make about my channel is I will be doing another live stream. I am thinking of scheduling it for next Sunday. 
Though, if you go to my channel on YouTube, the, you know, youtube.com slash gamingj1001, you can see I will have it scheduled probably by the time this video comes out, if not shortly thereafter, so you can go ahead and plan, and hopefully um, you guys can tune in for the next live stream. I still have not 100% decided what I'm going to be playing, but trust me, it will be something awesome. Well, that guy came out of the background. I just kicked him, though. Oh, God. Okay, so things don't really seem to hurt you in this game. Look, I can just, like, straight up walk into these guys. So it does not have, like, Mario's sense of urgency in terms of keeping yourself safe. Um, but regarding, you know, future live streams and stuff, if you guys are interested in the whole live streaming thing... Oh, God! That was a mistake. You're supposed to go back here. <laughs> If you guys are interested in the whole live streaming thing, definitely, if you've not done so already, you guys should follow me on Twitter because I probably won't be making an announcement every time I'm going to do a live stream in my videos because here's a little bit of uh, behind the scenes magic for you guys. I don't actually um, necessarily play every game right before it goes up. I often, in fact, play games like a week or two in advance so that I have uh, stuff you know, on file to release to you guys. And so that means that if I decide just this week that I want to do a live stream, if I don't do a game on the Saturday, um, then, oh God, <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh God, we died on the first level. Okay. Well, it's okay because I'm still doing introductions. But anyway, if you want to be kept up to date on the latest Gaming J news, live streams and stuff like that, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash GamingJ1001. And uh, you can go ahead. You can talk to me on there, too, if you want. Say hello. Love hearing from you guys. Anyway, enough enough jibber-jabber. I've just been jibber-jabbering all, all the live long day. I should be talking about Wario here and his sweet charging moves. Now, Wario, as I say, he's an aggressive fellow. He kind of he kinda comes, comes at everything 110%. And you know what I didn't do? Okay, so the whole thing with Wario is he gets helmets. That's his thing. He eats... This is garlic. I know this all from the Game Boy game. Never played this version of the game before in my life. But he can also stomp. And, yeah, once once you get the bull helmet, you can stomp. There are other helmets that we'll get. There's like a... Uh, man, those guys don't even hurt. Those guys are impotent. Little impotent little frogs trying to hurt me. You fools. I will crush you with the glory of Wario. Boom. Can you jump on top of their heads? Yeah, I guess so. You know what, I think you can also pick those guys up. Also, he's collecting hearts for just no reason. What do hearts do in this game? I don't know. One thing that was cool in the Game Boy version of this is... <clears throat> so the Game Boy... Oh, look, a secret. The Game Boy wa version of Wario took place after the six golden coins. And in the six golden coins... Hey, we found one of the secret things! In the six golden coins, you play as Mario, and Wario has stolen your castle and all your money, and you, like, have to steal your castle back from Wario. So, in uh, the sequel to that, uh, Mario Land 3, which was basically Wario Land, you're now Wario, and you're looking for, like, more fortune. And so the whole premise of the game is you have to, like, get coins and stuff. And the more coins you get, the better castle you get at the end of the game. It's kind of like how in the... Um, in Super Mario 2, for, what was it, the 3DS or whatever, uh, they made it so that you had to collect as many coins as you could. They made collecting coins like a big thing in that game. Similar idea with this. Um, we. <laughs> Similar idea with, uh, with this Game Boy game I'm talking about. Okay, we have reached what I assume is the end. I slam the key in there, give a thumbs up, and I hop into this. What is this, an elevator? Oh, okay, it's like a mine shaft. There's a dog watching a TV game. Heart game or coin game? Interesting. Can I, can I, I'll just get a flex for the dog. Let him see what 10 push-ups a day will get you. And a lot of Italian spaghetti. I wonder what Wario eats all the time. It must be spaghetti. Okay, let's go for 10. I'm gonna buy this 10 thing. Um, okay. What? What? Is it just a game of chance? I, I'm going for it, man. I don't know what I'm playing for, but I want it. Oh, look at that! Buckets of coins! Yeah! 820 coins! Oh my god. Well, let's keep this up. Let's go for this one this time. Oh yeah! Follow your instincts, guys. Follow your instincts. I have 8200 coins. Oh my god. I have ne I've, I haven't gotten 8,200 coins in like, if you 
add up every single game of Super Mario Brothers I've ever played, I haven't uh, gotten 8,200 coins. Oh, uh, well, let's bet 300, man. We got them. We got it. You better. You might as well spend what you got. Now what? So. Oh, am I supposed to, like, get these? Okay. That's pretty easy. I, I don't know why I want hearts. They don't... Do they heal me? I don't quite know. Oh, wait. Are those diamonds I could be getting? Interesting. Okay, we're gonna try and get a diamond from one of those flying bats. These are like bat mice creatures. Interesting. I'm sure if I had a, a Virtual Boy helmet on right now, the 3D effects would be quite enchanting. Oh, yeah! Just keep... Keep coming! Give me all... Oh, I want all the riches that your species has ever bothered to accumulate. Oh, and I- oh, wait, and I lost them all! Fuck. <laughs> I was up to like 92 hearts. Okay, well, see you later, dog. I don't know what the point of that was, but I'm gonna assume I won. Great victory. Okay, we just passed one level. Like, that was really remarkably easy. Interesting. Wonder how many, like, levels are actually in this game. Now, uh, as I say, I'm not playing this on a headset, be or, you know, like, not not only do I not own a Virtual Boy, but I'm also not playing this on a, uh, on, like, a uh, Google Cardboard or something like that. I could be if I wanted, but I'm not because I, like, I have notes sitting beside me of, like, things to talk about if I, if I run out of things to say, and I can't do that if I have got goggles on. I don't know. This is actually my thing. This is my theory for why the Virtual Boy itself um, did not do so great. And I think it's because, and I think this is potentially a problem for like Oculus Rift and stuff that's coming out, but I think when, once you put on goggles that block out everyone around you, you kind of change gaming from like a social experience to like a non-social experience. It, you know, like nobody... Oh! Oh, I forgot! You can pick guys up! Sweet. Well, let's pick these guys up. Oh my god, there's secrets. Why can I not get any more garlics? Give me more garlic! I'm not full yet. <laughs> but anyway, as soon as you put on, like, goggles, I think you change gaming from a fundamentally social experience to one where, like, no one can watch you play. I think that was one of the downfalls to Virtual Boy. Now, Virtual Boy, of course, you can go look up the history of it. It was basically an unrele or an unfinished prototype that got released. That's basically the story of Virtual Boy, and there's there's far more to it. Uh, again, I'm not going to rehash it all here. You can go look it up. People way better than me have have uh, have talked about this before. Oh no! Okay, this is what Warrior looks like when he's small. He's like a little mohawked freak. If you met this guy at a club. You you would not dance with him if you were a girl. And if you were a boy, you would not want him dancing with your girl. Just pretty much... No good can come of Wario being small. He looks hideous. He looks like a little troll. Um, but yeah, so I, I kind of think that beyond the other obvious issues with the Virtual Boy, I think one of the things that made it difficult for it to succeed is that once you put on the helmet, you couldn't watch your friends play video games anymore. And, oh god, damn it. Oh yeah. Look at this thing, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> he was not impressed. He was like, what? What did you get? What did you get? Because now I'm just going to kill you. Alright. Just going to avoid... I'm going to avoid combat for a little while. I got a feeling Wario is not cut out for combat. Oh, except... And now, I can spit fire. It's like I'm wearing like a real-life dragon on my head. Boom! That's sweet, man. Okay, I can't charge anymore, but who needs to charge when you got the power of literally fire coming out of your head? You know, I don't know. If I had a helmet that could shoot fire, I don't know if I'd want that helmet. It feels like it'd be very hot on my head. Anyway, for Oculus Rift and stuff, it kind of seems like they have a similar problem where once you throw on those goggles, no one can really watch you play a game. Uh, we're going to skip this this time. And so it, it, it kind of worries me in the sense of like, I think Oculus Rift and everything is like fascinating and awesome. And I uh, hope that those those these things are highly successful because I love the idea. Uh, whoa, we have... Was that a fish with a chainsaw on it? It's ridiculous. Um, but, but yeah, I'm a futurist, man. I want to see VR and I want to see it do well. I just worry that, like, when people put on their Oculus Rifts to play games, like, literally no one else can see what they're doing, and it will be a bit of a 
bit of a thing to overcome for the Rift. And I think it, part, it, it in part was a problem behind Virtual Boy. Now, Virtual Boy, of course, had other problems, like, for instance, the horrible color scheme or the fact that it gave you headaches. That's another reason why I'm not using a helmet today. I don't want to get a headache from, from doing this. Oh, man. Forget about Mario's fireballs. How about having, like, a whole dragon on your head? Are we even killing this thing, or are we just, like, pissing it off? Let's just swim around it. Oh, God, he ate me. Man, Wario can hold his breath for a long time. Him and Mario, man, they have lungs. They have lungs like a... Uh, I don't know, what has big lungs? Lungs like a fish. That was not a very interesting metaphor at all. I apologize for that one. <laughs> um, okay, what, what happened to this fish... That it decided, you know what, in life I need a chainsaw on my face. If if you have the kind of life where at some point you make the decision that you're better off with a chainsaw on your face, I think maybe you've had a rough upbringing. Just, I'm going to go out on the record and say that. That is a fish who, he's gone through some things. He doesn't like to talk about it, but he just feels, he feels safer with a chainsaw on his face than without. And you you can't tell some a fish that's gone through trauma like that that he's wrong. Because who are you to say? Maybe you're wrong. Maybe all all us normies who don't have chainsaws on our face are the ones the ones who are wrong. But I will kill him. Just because just because I can sympathize that he's had a rough life doesn't mean I won't kill him. I just, you know, I'll feel a little bad about it. And in fact not even that bad. Boom! Oh yeah! Let's get up in here. Secret pipes! Of course, Wario also traverses the pipe system like Mario. Ooh, we got a one-up. Not being able to charge is kind of annoying. Like, Mario could run. Wario, he just kind of like lumbers along. What is the relation between Wario and Mario, in fact? Are they, are they siblings or neighbors? How did Wario find out about Mario? And also, how many fat Italian... Uh, dudes with mustaches are hanging around the Mushroom Kingdom. you think there would only be like one or two. Oh, this is in 3D. Ooh. Okay. wonder if Wario's had any run-ins with the princess. I don't know, like, besides Smash Brothers, I don't think he has. I mean, everybody knows everyone through Smash Brothers. <laughs> but in terms of just like, you know, actual games, I don't think Wario's had any run-ins with the princess. It's over this way. Seemed like a hard place to go, so I'm sure it had good secrets. Okay. See, now this is annoying, because I don't want to have to go back and get all that crap. So we're just gonna... You know, uh, I guess that's the only thing I can do. Alright, this is just a bonus power-up room. Would still like to know what the... Oh, this thing runs out. Interesting, look. He's only got so much fire in there. I would really like to know what the hearts and coins do. I have a feeling I'm never going to figure it out. I need the manual for that. Ooh. I will take the bullhorns, because I like to charge... Oh no, we missed the key! Oh man. So these Wario games are a little more about... Oh, hello. Exploration. Okay, you can't do that. But what's in here? A little more about exploration than the uh, Mario games ever were. Oh, we got a we got a rooster. So if you pause the game, you can actually see. So I got the rooster. I got the you know those, that's like one of those waving cats. Have you guys seen these things? They're like solar powered. You get them at Chinese malls, and they they uh, will just like sit on your dashboard waving at you. They're the one hand that's up, and also a, a rooster, which I assume is like a. What what would you call it? The the thing that goes in the front of your car, like a hood ornament. So we got a rooster hood ornament. Let's we got we got the power of charge. Let's speed through this and find this stupid key. Oh God, Wario! How could you forget the key? He's kicking himself now. He's like you left you left a good job for this. Yeah, you, you quit you quit your daytime job as a surly Italian for what? To come here and harass Mario. Steal some coins and some cats. You lived in a seventy thousand uh, dollar sweet apartment. Actually, seventy thousand dollars not good, a good apartment these days. Okay, where where am I going here? Oh man, 
Did I go here? No, I've not been here. Let's do this. Aha! A key, I see! And it be the... Yes. Alright. I should not try to rhyme. Whoa, look at that thing. It's like a fish that came out from the background to get me. Oh, well, we showed him what's what. We will let your heart float to the surface. That's a message to the other fish. There's like that school of fish swimming around in the background. It's like, yeah, you saw what happened to your buddy when he opposed Wario. Don't forget it. Right. I guess we're supposed to be gambling with these things. I have 300 coins somehow. Again, I don't know what the conversion rate for a Wario coin is to a Mario coin, because it seems like Wario is getting a ton of coins here. Mario would have tons extra lives by now. I think Mario's just a better investor. Wario likes to hoard his money, but Mario... Or maybe actually Mario's like a, an impulse buyer. He's just, as soon as he gets 100 coins, he spends on that one up. He doesn't care. Wario likes to hoard his money. Oh. Eh, forget it. It's like, do I go back for one coin? Yeah, thumbs up. Now there's another hat, apparently. There's an eagle hat. Oh, no, wait. Damn it. I actually wanted to gamble. Oh, well, whatever. There's an eagle hat that you can get, and that allows you to fly. And apparently, if you get the eagle hat with this hat, it combines into some kind of super hat, which I'm kind of excited to see. Whoa, what? what is that? The heck? What the heck is this? It's a thing that's trying to kill me, and I killed it. Oh, is this a boss? <laughs> oh, man, I feel... You know what? It's not a very imposing boss when you don't even realize if you're in a boss fight. I was like, oh, am I in a boss fight? Killed that thing in two hits. Oh, I guess this is the real boss fight. Okay, fine. Now I'm clearly in a boss fight. I understand what's going on. It looks like the laziest sloth ever. Alright, can I jump over to you or... Just gonna throw your ball at me, eh? Oh, you jerk. Get over here! Okay, here he comes! Get him! <laughs> Man, that thing looked high! Look at his face! He was stoned out of his mind! He didn't know what was happening! Like, seriously, pay attention to his face when he comes back to our side. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Two can play the intimidation game. We're just gonna... We're just gonna flex. Oh, it doesn't let me flex. Alright, we'll just charge back and forth aggressively. Get over here, get your butt kicked. You little worm. Oh, God. This is harder than it looks. How am I gonna beat this little thing? Okay. Look at his face. Seriously. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell are you supposed to do to that? I was like, did we jump on him? Couldn't even... Couldn't even get in there, okay. I, I presume we're supposed to charge at him, so as long as I cannot get hit, I think I can get a charge in. This is crazy though, I've like, never played a game like this where you encounter the first boss and it's like a real challenge to get, get through. Okay, here we go. This seems to be working effectively. Yes. Now get your lazy, lazy good for nothing butt over here so I can stomp you. Ah, damn it! That did nothing. Oh, I jumped on him. That worked. Okay, so charging him does nothing. Okay, we're learning, guys. We got like three more lives to figure this out. Oh God! <laughs> Wario, why you no run? If Wario could run like Mario, that would be so easy. You just run back and forth, he would never get you. Alright, so we gotta we gotta charge. Charge around. Our strategy this time, I think, is not to die. I'm gonna go with not dying. Man, Mar Wario's buff! Look at his arm, man! Like he looks like he's he's fat and overweight. But like seriously? He's like ripped. Oh god damn it. How are you supposed to avoid that crap? I guess you just need to get the timing right. Oh, And that was not the right timing. Are you serious? Are we are we dying at the first boss of Wario Land? No, this can't happen. Wario's gonna pull it together. Him and his buff arms. Like the guy's the guy's 
clearly fat and overweight. When he takes his hat off, he is like the hair of a troll. The guy's hideous, yet for some dodge, 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 oh god. Okay, for some reason though, he, he his arms are like really buff. Got him. Okay. As long as you kind of like jump over his little cannonball-y thing. You're not cannonball -y, but what would you call that thing? It's like a mace or something. Oh god. Oh my god. God. Okay, we got this. We got this. Hop over here, buddy. See what happens when you get over here. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Shoot. I presume he only needs one more hit, and there's a good chance he's gonna hit me. Okay, here we go. Oh my god! You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, we still have one life, okay. We still have one life. <laughs> oh man. Um, so I hear the Virtual Boy caused headaches. Apparently, so did its games. <laughs> This, this is not a first level boss, this is like a boss for like halfway through the game, man. Just saying. Oh, sh shoot. Don't kill me. That part is surprisingly hard to dodge. Okay, here we go. And it's not like this part is easy either, but at least we have a shot now. Yes, we got him. Just gotta like keep that timing right, man. Keep that timing right. All right, here we go. Oh God, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, we made it, we made it. We're getting better, Wario's learning. This guy's a little explorer cap on. I would love to know what this thing is that we're fighting. Yes, get him. Get out of here, you punk. Okay, one more hit. I swear, it better be, better be three hit kill. Cause I don't know how much longer this can go on, guys. God. Ah! Okay, we survived. My palms are so sweaty. It's like slipping off the controller. Remember when you used to play video games and they used to be so tense that that would happen? It can still be that way. Just play Wario. Yes! Yeah! I like how he's like, he's, he's like charging so fast, he's like phasing out of reality. Like, look, he's like leaving after images of himself. I don't think this is a normal charge. I think maybe he is like, he has some kind of like cross-dimensional phase attack here. It's like he, he shatters the timeline, he charges so fast, and he creates alternate Warios with many different outcomes. One of which where he jams you with his elbow. I think if you actually did charge like Wario, like you body check someone at full speed, it would actually like hurt like hell. Just... Just thinking. Thinking aloud here. Okay, we got... So in that balloon was a skull. We're gonna keep going, man. Wario, you know what? He's nothing if not a problem gambler. He, uh... <laughs> he's got he's got some addiction issues, guys. But, I mean, Wario, he seems like the type of guy who would. So that's surprising. Oh, yeah! Two for two! What is that? 26,000 gold? Oh, my God. Look at it all. Nine, 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 nine. Guys, I just got 9999 on a bonus game. It is impossible to do better than that. I, you can't. I would say I challenge you to, but you can't. Nobody can beat me there. I just, I, I just owned it. Let's go ahead and give this one more shot here. We're gonna go for 300 coins because we have 9999. I'm willing to have 9699. Just have a shot at this. All right. Okay, we gotta play the odds. Forget about those stupid diamonds. Diamonds really screwed me last time. Oh, missed that hard. Ow! Oh, damn it! Okay, now we need the diamonds to get it back. It's okay, we can get it back. We just gotta go big on black. Big on black, yes! Wait, that diamond didn't do anything for the hearts that I won. Ah, oh, son of a... Okay, we can get it back. We just gotta go big on red. Big on red. Problem gambling. 
As long as we keep increasing our bets, we'll never lose. That's actually like a not I, I would not say a gambling trick, but it is like a gambling thing you can try. If you ever go to the casino, don't do this in fact because you will lose all your money. But let's say you go to play roulette and you put ten dollars down on red and you lose. Well, if you put twenty dollars down for the next bet and you win, then you'll have recovered that ten dollars you lost and still won. So let's say you put twenty down now on red and you lose again. So now you have to put forty down. And if you put 40 down and you lose again, then put 80 down. You keep doubling your bet, you see? If you do this in theory, automatic pause. So I guess the virtual boy is telling us, yo, 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 yo. Just chill out for a bit, man. You're going to get a headache. It's going to hurt. Just just take some time. We're not playing on a virtual boy, so we're going to carry on. But if you do take that gambling strategy I just told you and try it, you might win a little bit in the short term. But in the long term, man, you are going to lose. Because the thing with casinos is the house always wins. And that's just not that's not just a saying, that's statistics. If you understand statistics and math, you will understand the house always wins. And they win because the reason that strategy won't work is eventually you'll get like 10 losses in a row. And you'll go from like having to bet 10 to having to bet like $10,000 and you'll be broke. What is this coin thing up here? I really want to know. I can't, I don't seem to be able to interact with it. Plus these birds are like surprisingly dangerous. Son of a bitch. What was that? Like a little cuddly cat ball thing? I don't know. Die. I don't even want to know what you are. I'm just going to kill you before you have a chance to show me. Alright. I'm just going to try and like scoot through some of this stuff as fast as I can. The longer I hang around you guys, the more likely you are to kill me. Oh, stay away. Stop throwing your balls at me. You spiky balls. Alright. Get away, birds. They're just like dive on me. Get out of here. Hey, <laughs> like miss the heart. I feel like there's less pizzazz when you go through a pipe than when Mario does. What the hell is this thing? I didn't even know what that was. It was like some kind of rabid teddy bear. But when you go through a pipe with Mario, it kind of goes, ow, 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 and the game kind of pauses a bit. With Wario, he just kind of walks through. Oh, you dick! You're just hanging in the tree waiting to throw that at me, weren't you? Oh yeah, real funny, buddy. What is this? Oh! Oh yeah, now now what's up? Huh? Now what's up? Look, I can fly. How do I do that? Hell yeah, there we go. What's up now, bitches? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these guys. After I get these coins, of course. Interesting. So Wario likes to place little animals on his head. Oh, you get out of here. And uh, he uses their powers for himself. Oh, pfft, went there by accident. Okay. You get away. Oh, I landed in spikes. Who put all those spikes there? Okay, fine, we'll take the dragon helmets. Yeah. Man, he does not have a lot of long jump distance. It is like you, you hold your breath and pray for life every time you jump with Wario. At least he can kill those these spears. These guys are jerks, man. Alright. What's in here? Power up! Hmm, don't want it. Oh, I, I... In fact, actually, maybe I do. Maybe I do want it after all. Alright. Come here, bird. I'm gonna throw you into your opponent, into your friends. Oh, or just throw you into spikes to die. Now, have any of you guys out there actually tried a virtual boy before? And if not, are any of you actually watching this on the dual screen, uh, the dual screen video that I put up, like, um, actually using, like, a headset? If so, I'm very curious to know if you're kind of getting some 3D-ness out of this, if you're enjoying it. Actually, here's a little bit of trivia for you. As we have been playing this game... Shoot, I do not have the key. Oh, God! <clears throat> I just fell a long ways. Oh, what the... Flip? Get out of here. Whatever you are. Oh, you... <laughs> Man, it's surprisingly easy to get hurt in this game. Um, so as we've been playing this game, we've kind of been, like, hitting points where we jump into the background, if you guys have been paying attention. So, like, see the background right there? We can maybe, if I survive this part, jump back there? Although I don't even know how to get back there. Honestly. Can I jump down off of here? Is that a thing that can happen? 
No? Okay, I don't even know. Oh man, that guy almost got me. But anyway, as we've been going into the backgrounds, um, that that sort of mechanic may look familiar to you if you're familiar with the Donkey Kong Country games, like this. Whee! That look familiar to you? So Donkey Kong Country Returns actually used the similar mechanic, and guess where they got inspired from? Yes, they were actually intentionally inspired by Wario Land here. Oh, you son of a bee! You knew you were going to do that, and you did it anyway. Get out of here. I'll throw one of you into the other, and let that be that. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Donkey Kong Returns intentionally... I wouldn't say copied, because they're both Nintendo, but they were definitely inspired by them. Which is kind of cool, actually. You know, you think of the Virtual Boys as kind of like black sheep of the Nintendo family, where, you know, a lot of the, the things it did... You know, I mean, again, the Virtual Boy, there's no easy way to say this. It failed. It was a failure of the console for a variety of reasons. But it's interesting, like, you know, there's echoes of the Virtual Boy in Nintendo. It didn't go away. Like, Nintendo did not give up trying to make 3D a thing, because they made, of course, the 3DS. And then, similarly, they didn't even give up with the idea of jumping into the backgrounds of games, like you do in this game. They took that mechanic and they put it into a modern game which was uh, Donkey Kong Returns. So yeah, kind of interesting. You know, nothing is ever lost. But if there's a good idea, even if it's on the wrong system, it tends to come back. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about that. I am utterly lost here in the forest. I have a feeling this might, oh God damn it. I was not paying attention. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, I have a feeling this might be our last. Oh, I found the key. Found the key. Now, how the hell do I get back to the door? Um, can I do it this way? I don't even know. I guess I have to go back again. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, I have a feeling this will be our last level. Oh, god damn it. Potentially. Can I even get that thing over there? Like, how would you... No. Not gonna happen. There must be a simpler way of doing this. I think I'm playing this the stupid way. Like, there must be an easy way to get to the end of the, the level. Oh, look at this. Whee! I'm tiny! It's it's me, Tiny Wario! I'm gonna steal all your little coins! And punch you in your little face! Because I'm little! <laughs> well, just collecting coins, just because... Again, I, I mean, I guess they were important in the other Warrior games, but... when You know, when you play a game for the first time, you never really care about collecting all the stuff. Usually you're just trying to beat it. Oh my god! I got trolled there so bad. <laughs> oh, do we, we got one more shot. Oh, we do have the key. Okay, let's, let's pass this level and just see what the next level's all about. I have a feeling that we can pass this one as is. So yeah! Virtual Boy, I don't know. Do you guys have any memories of the system? Is it a system that you owned as a kid? I know, like, honestly. So again, I tried this as a kid, and I did kind of like the Virtual Boy, even though I, I'm sure if I owned one, it would have gave me headaches and stuff. Fun, funnily enough, like, I tried it at, like, a gaming convention show as a kid, and, oh, I got the, oh, I got the Master Helmet! Oh, shoot, I just discovered a secret block over there. Look at this. It is... Oh, yeah, we got the dragon helmet. I can fly and shoot stuff. Oh, look how handy that is. You can just fly through the whole level. And if I don't like someone, boom, just shoot them with fire. Yes, Wario just got ten times more intimidating. Yes. No. Oh, I thought I was going to land in spikes. <sighs> okay, don't kill me with the spikes. No. Kill you with that. Um, anyway, I tried this at a gaming convention. And, yeah, I just, I think at the time, I just assumed that I would be getting... Oh, Jesus! Just plows through things. You can kill the tree stumps with this. Okay. Wario, Wario's back, baby. And he ain't got time for no crap. <laughs> but anyway, I think I just assumed that I would be getting a a Virtual Boy at some point, because I had a Game Boy, and my parents never seemed to have a problem buying me the mobile versions of Nintendo systems. They didn't like me having the physical ones, I think because I hogged the TV, but they got me a Game Boy, and I think I just assumed, yeah, I'll get a Virtual Boy someday, this is pretty cool. 
It never even occurred to me that it would not sort of be successful. Or something like that. Oh, jeez. Just push that guy into the water. Sorry, buddy. Out of the way, warriors live in here. We'll just kill you. <laughs> okay. No, don't drop things on Mario. Man, this, this helmet is actually so useful. Man, being able to fly is so useful. Look, you just skip through the whole level. Okay, now there's something back there, though. Oh, yeah, you can also ground pound with this. Sweet. Um, what I was... <laughs> I keep getting distracted here. One last thing I was going to say about the Virtual Boy is, even though it is kind of like this failed black sheep system, I still kind of want to, like... Oh, he's climbing a waterfall. That takes that takes determination, guys. He's literally climbing a waterfall. Um, I would like to own a Virtual Boy, basically, is what I'm saying. I, I have thought about this, and I would be happy with a broken Virtual Boy. Like, it's kind of like one of those things where I don't think I would ever play it all that much. But it would be cool to own a Virtual Boy just to say you owned one. So I wouldn't mind even having just a broken one on my bookshelf. So hey, if anyone's looking for any like early Christmas gifts or if you're like a super fan or whatever, you send me a broken Virtual Boy and we'll be friends for forever. We'll be we'll be best friends, in fact. We'll we'll talk and laugh about that Virtual Boy for years to come. Where am I? <laughs> I'm in some kind of like weird underground temple. Okay. Stop these things. Oh, hearts. Two hearts. So exciting. <laughs> anyway, those are all my Virtual Boy memories. I guess we'll we'll just finish up this level, see where it goes. I keep saying that. I'm like, one more level. One more level. That is that is the mentality of a video gamer. In case you don't know. If if the way to tell someone's a video gamer is if they're playing a game and you're like, you're almost done, and they're like, one more level. That is a video gamer. Oh, come on! Give me the friggin' bird head! Stinking idiots! No, no! <laughs> no! Oh, God. I guess we're not getting that bird head. You know, we don't need it. Wario looks like the hideous troll that he is. Well enough with that. Oh, we need the key. Okay, well, that is gonna be the end for us. Guys! Wario Land on the Virtual Boy! Interesting game! Very interesting game. Virtual Boy, interesting system. I don't know if these are games that you should actually yourself go out and try, but, you know, hey, they're a thing. And if you want to try the, the, the 3D experience, I went in there totally by accident. It's all the stupid currents carried me in there. Jesus. Um, but it, yeah, if you do want to try out the 3D experience, look for the dual screen video on my channel. You might be watching it already. Oh yeah! Does not help me whatsoever. What's this? Oh, we can get the super helmet. Oh, that would be something to end on. That would be something to end on. Ugh. Come on, super helmet! Give it to me! No! Oh my god, so annoying. Uh, yes! Yeah! Okay, I don't care. We got the super helmet. Can it help us? I wonder. Hold on, let's see. Maybe the key is, like, down here. Oh no, but all that stuff was. Alright guys, well we're gonna end on victory for old Wario here. Victory as he defines it, which is having a lot of money and flying around with a dragon's head. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Um, and as I said, I will be doing a live stream probably next weekend. Take a look at my channel and or my Twitter if you want more details. And otherwise, I hope you guys will join me then. Until next time, my friends, have fun playing your failed gaming systems. And take care of yourselves. Alright. Peace. I will say there is a very creative use of environments in this game. I'm riding a tornado. Don't see that every day. At least on 3D. God damn it.